Okay, a lot of the discussion on the internet about the model two and how it looks like. And here I provide some our opinions on this. We know that model three and model Y share the same chassis, and model two will likely share the same one. The model Y is the enlarged version of model three, and model two will be the reduced version of model three. They all belong to the same family and share many uh, parts to lower the cost and also simplify the production. And Model 2 most likely will have a similar size of, of Corolla hatchback. And here's a picture of Corolla hatchback, and here's a modified version representing Model 2. We're not artists, this is the best we can do. The table lists the detail of the dimensions. You can compare M3 and Model 3, Model Y, and the Corolla. So, and Model 2 will, again, will likely to be similar size of Corolla. So it will be shorter, uh, a little bit narrower, and the same height like Model 3. The weight also is uh, lighter than Model 3. Model 2 likely have about 200 miles uh, range. So that is about 320 kilometers. That is very reasonable for in-city commute. And it reduced battery requirement, less weight, lower cost, and also much higher energy efficiency. 300 miles uh, satisfy the minimum requirement for China to provide subsidy uh, to the EVs. And uh, that is very important for a low cost car. The picture on the right side uh, show a Model 3 battery pack. So compared to Model 3, Model 2 pack likely to remove one module and also reduce about 12% of batteries in each module. That results in about two-thirds of Model 3 energy capacity. So that is about uh, 32 to 35 kilowatts hour. And using the low-cost LFP batteries is almost certain. And uh, we also draw on symbolic size of the Model 2 uh, battery pack. You can see that it's much smaller than the Model 3 pack. And that actually enhanced the safety of the car. Model 2 overall will be an amazing car. It belongs to Model 3 and Y family, has a lot of similarities. It has low price tag, $25,000, and much lower operating cost. It has a very high energy efficiency. You can get about uh, 100 kilometers distance with about 10 kilowatts hour. It has much faster charging speed. It takes only five hours to charge at home and much faster at supercharge. It offers strong maneuverability and acceleration, mainly due to the lightweight and also a bit from the less air drag. Model 2 inherits all Tesla safety features, strong bone, low gravity center, and the impact protection from the front. The battery will be even safer due to the smaller size and also use of uh, LFP. It is an excellent choice for young adults and small families. And Tesla headquarters developed Model 3 and also derived Model Y from Model 3. So it makes a lot of sense to have the same team to derive Model 2 from Model 3 and Y as a reduced version. So this designing workload is not tremendous. Actually, it might have been finished already or nearly finished. So the difficulty is actually is getting the production capacity. Tesla is super busy everywhere. Bremen, Shanghai, Berlin, Austin. The production location, no doubt about that, but it'll be in Shanghai because it has unmatched supply chain costs, labor costs, as well as the production efficiency. And Shanghai also has some flexible, uh, flexible space. Fremont is fully packed with Model 3 and Model Y. You probably see the video of the Giga Press, right? It's outside, it's not in, even in the factory. And Berlin Austin will eventually produce uh, Model 2, but not their first priority. Model 2 project is referred as a Tesla Shanghai Phase 1 second stage in government doc documents. So that implies that the Model 2 will share some facilities with the Model 3, which is Phase 1 in Shanghai, but not much with Model Y, 
which is phase two in Shanghai. Regarding the timeline of model two, again, designing work should have been finished or nearly finished. So end of last month, January of 2021, the construction EIA approval is received from Shanghai government. So this EIA is really stand for environmental impact assessment. This is for the equipment, not for the building. The building should have been constructed. So very soon, the prototype car will be built and the second half of this year, there will be an announcement about the uh, Model 2 officially. The volume production will start in Shanghai 2022. Remember that it took Shanghai, Tesla Shanghai, one year to build the entire Model 3 production line. And then one more year to ramp up Model 3 plus building a Model Y production line. Consider that the Model 2 is relatively smaller expansion because a lot of shared facilities. So it, it will be a, a doable, very doable for Shanghai, Tesla Shanghai to uh, finish this job within one year. So production expected in 2022. Berlin will start production of Model 2 in 2023 because Europe has a good demand for smaller vehicles and Austin will follow that. And there is a, a very interesting discussion on Twitter between Cassie Woods and Elon and uh, Vivi. So about the smaller car and the original car and R&D centers. So when Vivi asked the question whether the original car referred to the same smaller car, and actually Elon gave, gave a negative answer. They say it's original cars, not the small one. So again, Model 2 is the reduced version from Model 3. So it's not considered as a full original, fully original car. And Shanghai will, will design and build a, an original model from scratch and probably name that as a Model C. And it's not necessarily to be low cost or cheaper car. It can be quite expensive or as good as uh, you know, Model 3 and Y or even more expensive. So Berlin will design and build their own model, probably Model E, stands for Europe. And Shanghai is building an R&D center, so it's not fast enough to, to have on Model 2. And also it's overkill to have an R&D center with 20 labs to work on a simple version like Model 2. So the R&D center is targeting the Model C. Now here are two videos about Model 2 and Model C. One is from uh, Elon Musk's uh, announcement on Battery Day of last year. Another one is a recent Tesla China present interview. I'm sure after watching these two videos, you can tell the subtle difference between Model 2 and Model C. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, sure. What does this mean? Uh, what does it mean? For, what, does this, what does this mean for our future products? Uh, so, uh, we, you know, we're, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. Um, so, you, you know, this, this, this has always been our dream from the beginning of the company. I even like wrote a blog piece about it um, because, um, you know, our first car was, was an expensive sports car and, and then, it was, then it was like slightly less expensive sedan and then finally sort of a I don't know, mass market premium, but you know, like the Model 3 and Model Y. Um, but it really it was always our goal to try to make an affordable electric car. And um, I think probably, uh, w w like I said, about, about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very, com uh, uh, very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle uh, that's also fully autonomous. And when you think about the $25,000 price point, you have to consider how much, in it, how much less expensive it is to own an electric vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. actually, it it's, it it becomes even more affordable at that twenty five thousand dollars price point. Yeah. So we have uh, and extreme performance and range. 除了这个一期跟二期的一个工厂哈，我知道也在做这个研发中心，能不能介绍一下这个研发中心的情况？好的，嗯，这个在嗯、呃、就在我们现在所在的特斯拉临港厂区里面呢，我们现在正在建设我们的中国的呃这个研发中心。那么呃这个研发中心呢，也是首次特斯拉在呃美国本土之外。
呃建设一个研发中心。那么这个研发中心它的门类齐全，专业齐全，呃，这个将会涵盖我们整车。呃，这个设计，呃，整车，呃，车辆工程，呃，整车这个设计研发，呃，还有呃，这个测试等等很多的功能。呃，那么，呃，我们现在预计呢，呃，在今年年中左右的时间呢，这个研发中心可以交付使用。呃，里面包含了超过二十个以上的专业实验室，然后同时这个呃会呃这个提供呃非常。呃，这个好的条件来帮助我们的研发工程师，呃，朝着我们的终极呃目标努力。这个终极目标呢，就是我们也在多个公、呃、公开场合提到过，呃，未来我们想呃在中国原创的设计、研发、生产一款车型，啊、呃，然后从中国的工厂来制造，然后销售到全世界去。那么这个研发中心呢，就是我们这个呃目标的起点。之前其实咱们也提到，就是说希望能够在中国生产这些车辆是百分之百的。是,是，那这个要达成这个目标，您觉得还需要多长时间？呃，完全达成呃这个目标的话，我觉得在本呃今年之内吧，今年之。